So Visha, right, is the, the industry, how many years have you been in it? Um, it's probably more than 10. Gee, you look really good at really don't on my age. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't need anybody to know that. No. <laughs> Cut. Okay. I'll make sure nobody knows your age. <laughs> so, what is the, for anybody watching this, um, what's the exciting part of the industry? So, I want to go exciting part of the industry and then just talk about the challenges and then, like, why do you still do it? Okay. For, this, the first question is, is it more challenging for a woman? It must be. Eh? Very much it's so. Because there's quite a lot of guys in the industry, am I right? Or That's right? correct. And, okay. you know, when clients walk onto the floor, they're always looking for a guy. Yeah. And yeah. their preconceived idea is that a guy will have more technical information. Yes. And eventually when I then assist them, they're like, oh my word, you're actually so good. <laughs> so then I get all of that, yeah. like, feedback, very positive kind of feedback. Do they ask you if you've got a license? No. no. <laughs> So, so it's not like to ask you if you're a lot. No, okay, no. fantastic. But they always, they, they just cannot believe that a female would have so much technical information yeah, for them in terms yeah. of kilowatt drive trains, like speaking yeah. of like real <laughs> mechanical component kind yeah. of jargon. So, yeah. yeah. So then let's go to how did you uh, like get into it? Like, was it a career choice accidentally? Were you looking for another job? Was, how did that happen? I was in retail predominantly yeah. and I was looking for a repping position because I wanted to study further whilst repping and ma earning money so yes. I could pay for my studies. However, it landed up that it was a cadet program right. and um, for Kia Motors to yes. sell Kias and they put me in with Daihatsu which nobody knew back in the early 2000s yeah, yeah. and from the um, another guy just told me the dealer principal from the Kia branch yeah. stole me yeah. from Daihatsu and ever since then I've been in the motor trade. Yes. So it's also like unpredicted in the sense that you would have never have thought like working I want to be in that industry. Absolutely. Yeah. And is it fun? Absolutely. <laughs> and the joy of just closing a deal is yes. absolutely exciting, thrilling. Um, the down part is, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like yeah. a very, I'm, I hate losing. Yes. So if I lose a deal, I really take it personally. But that's not, look, that's not a bad thing. Because if you've got pride in what you're doing, and that's what I find in any industry. Uh, let's look at dentistry. A great dentist versus a good dentist. A great dentist has probably got good technical skills, knows how to do the job properly, but it's also got good communication skills. Mm -hmm. You know those good people skills. Even a doctor, you go, why has that doctor got a better business than the other one? You, you'll find, if you look at it, it's probably because they've got a better relationship skills ability versus they both studied the same, they've mm -hmm. both been on the same programs, technically they're at the same level. So would you agree that one of the X factors for somebody like you is, because I don't know you, but I'm <laughs> feeling your energy, is enthusiasm. That's what yeah. it is. I call it passion. Yeah. Um, ever since I've been young, my parents always said, whatever you do, do it to the best of your ability yeah. or just don't do it at all. Like, even if you're cleaning the floors, make sure that you do it to the best of your ability because somebody yeah. out there will notice you. Curious. And that's how my career just hopped from, yeah. you know, one manufacturer to the next because I'm a very loyal person. I'll never just jump back up and leave. I'll, I'll wear it yeah. down. I'll stick it out. I'll do the best I can until somebody recognizes that I could actually add more value and they just steal me from the one place to the next. Correct. And that's Correct. how I've been headhunted from Daihatsu, from Kia to G. Dodge Chrysler and then now back here to Hyundai. Yeah. Well, luckily I know your dealer principal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll mention that. Okay, so I've known the dealer principal, yeah, Chris uh, from Amara for about 10 years, a decade. And similarly, my type of work as a business coach and inspiring people especially around the sales coaching uh, within the motor industry. Look, it helps to have been a dealer principal, which I have been, but there's nothing better than when your client says to you, listen, I really like what you do, but could you also add this? Yeah. So a decade later, a lot of the content on my program is not just my own opinions, which is important. You've got to have your own authentic viewpoint, but the fact that the client will coach you and mentor you to improve on that. True as well. How do you how do you find the industry? Have they invested in you? Do you get training apart from what you've attended with like our program? Um, is there an investment? Are you doing your own self training? What do you do to improve yourself? That's the question. How what are you doing to improve yourself? Well, improving myself, I guess I learned from all of my mistakes, and I guess that's the only way that you're ever going to move forward. I've done blunders, massive blunders before, where my heart well, almost... Listen, welcome to life. <laughs> where my heart almost sank, you know, we almost yeah. wanted to die. Um, I've learned from that, you know, and from uh, learning from your mistakes could only make you a better person. Yeah. And that's how you start growing. Um, look, within the motor trade, 
Um, you do get skill sets like you regularly on courses. Um, they upskill you with interpersonal skills, um, technical skills, more about the product. But those are just normal kind of stuff. Yeah. What I do find interesting though is the fleet aspect or part of things. It's obviously that's more complex because there you're not looking at a product sale. It's actually, it's a financial sale. That's correct. Yeah. It's more complicated. It's more interactive with the client. It's trying to find out. Is this vehicle suitable for your application within your company? And I like deals like that because you know you build that relationship and the rapport with a client. Um, once you finalize that one sale, they'll just literally pick up the phone and say, Look, please add on another three or another yeah, two of these yeah. kind of vehicles. So, so it's a longer sales cycle to actually win the relationship. Yeah. But once you've got the relationship, it becomes a service versus a sale. That's right. correct. That's Excellent. Correct. Okay, so I want to thank you. Is there any questions that you want to maybe pose to me and let's see if I can answer it? So anything that may be on your mind around energy and passion, because those are things that come yeah, up. I've yeah, I've got right. a question yes. for you. <laughs> so um, if you had to walk onto our showroom floor, um, you haven't seen our full complement of staff, but I'm sure you yeah, know yeah. who they are. Yeah, I know the faces. Yes. If you had to walk onto our floor, who repels your energy and who attracts your energy yeah. besides me? Okay, so I would go as a client walk in, because I do I often do, do that. When I go to a dealership for the first time, the staff don't know me. So I'll walk in and make sure that they think that I could be a potential client. Of course. And let's be blunt, it's a, it's about the body language. Yeah. I can see immediately like that one's having a bad day, that one doesn't want to help me. Whoa, this one's hungry for the sale, which I do prefer. But isn't it about that uh, sense of urgency, quickly getting up, being polite, being professional, and then being yourself? So if the person's like, you've got your own authentic charisma, and that's something that I like about you, is, you know, when you're comfortable in yourself, it's interesting, that energy does project itself. So it's a combination. Let's say the person is new. It could be their first day. If they're enthusiastic, as a client walking in, I'm probably going to be attracted to them. And so right? True. You're right. If they're highly experienced and they're not enthusiastic, that's not a good combination. Either. A very hard. Great combination <laughs> is... If you've got the experience and you're enthusiastic, then I mean, then you should be unstoppable, right? Very, very true. Yeah. No, okay, no. so great. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Craig. And I trust that answers it is. So, so let me put it all together, unpack it. Passion, enthusiasm, experience, energy. And if you don't have that, it's just some a sense of urgency to want to assist the client. That's correct. Great stuff. Thank you. Thank you.